I love Christmas time. The long, lazy lunches, spending time with family and friends, and of course, decorating the house to get into the spirit of things. But often those decorations are made of plastic that's just destined for landfill. So I'm going to show you how to make some really attractive and tasteful decorations using what you've got in your own garden. Start by collecting some flowers and a few leaves. This is what we're here to make, flower sun catches and leaf imprints. I'll show you how to make these later, but first let's start with the sun catchers. To make a long lasting sun catcher, it's best to use flowers that have been pressed and dried out for around three weeks. You can see how to do that in a story I've done on our website. But for a quick bit of fun, fresh flowers will work. Because they're not dried properly, they may go mouldy eventually, but they'll certainly be around long enough to bring Christmas cheer. If you're concerned about the moisture content of your flowers, I've found that you can dry them out quickly by putting them on a baking tray in the oven for low temperature with the doors open, or even by pressing them between paper towels or baking paper with an iron. It's important that you don't use fleshy flowers like a camellia because they're never going to dry. And also be aware not to choose flowers with a thick base part. Now this is a calendula, but I can actually pull the petals off this and then dry those petals and they dry quite beautifully so that you can use them well. Next, cut a piece of wax paper that is the width you want and twice as long. Fold it in half. Now you can place your wax paper on a flat heat resistant board like a chopping board and put some newspaper underneath. Then you can open up your wax paper and you're ready to start making a pretty picture with your flowers. This is the fun creative part. Once you're happy with your design, all you need to do is carefully fold the wax paper back over, put a couple of sheets of newspaper on top and you're ready to iron and seal it. Melt the wax on the two sheets so they'll stick together when cool. Depending on your iron, the time will vary, so keep an eye on it. Let's take a look. Now the edges seem well stuck together. If they're not, simply iron it some more and maybe even turn your iron up so it's a bit hotter. When you hold it up to the light, you can see where the wax has melted and bonded the two sheets together. Now, trim the edges. There's our sun catcher. I'm happy with that. Now to the leaf imprints. How do we make some of these? First off, you need to select your leaves. They can be thick or thin, but we're looking for things that have interesting shape, fascinating textures like these prominent veins, it could be interesting foliage, it could even be grass heads, or even ferns with their spores. Then you need some air dry clay. It comes in either terracotta or white, and it's available from your local art and craft supplier. got it about the thickness you want, then you can choose a leaf that's going to work well in the shape. I'm going to choose this beautiful pelargonium with prominent ribs. And then you gently press your leaf into the clay. There, that looks great. Now, if you want to hang this up as an ornament, use a skewer or something similar to make a hole and then when it's dried, you can string it up or even use it as a gift tag. And repeat. Put the imprints to one side to dry for about 24 hours, depending on the temperature. Once they dry, you can paint the imprints. I'm just using watercolour paint. The idea is that it runs into the veins and becomes a deeper colour, so it imitates the look of leaf veins. 
These are great decorations to hang on the Christmas tree. Kids will love making them and it's a great activity for family and friends that'll really fire up the Christmas spirit and you can't get too much of that.